Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the top 10 rarest skins in Fortnite Battle Royale, starting from the least rare out of the 10 and making our way to the most rare. So let's get right into it. Now, before I start things off, I'd like to challenge you guys to list the 10 rarest skins, starting from the rarest at number one and the least rare out of the 10 at number 10, because I've been playing since chapter one, season two, and even I wasn't able to do it without a little bit of research. But anyways, let's get right into it. At number 10, we have the Reaper skin, which was a part of the third battle pass in the first chapter of Fortnite. And by the way, all of the skins that I'm gonna be talking about in this video are in chapter one, so don't get the two chapters confused. This skin was unlocked at tier 100 of the battle pass, and for a while, by a majority of the player base, this was called John Wick because of the skin similarity to Keanu Reeves in the John Wick movie. However, a while after, an actual John Wick skin came out, and that's when this skin began being called Walmart John Wick. So if you're running around with this skin, just know you are using a Walmart version of John Wick, and you should probably buy the real one. Okay, so let's get into number nine, which is the Blue Squire skin. Now, this was unlocked right away at tier one of the season two battle pass. Now, the next four skins that I'm gonna talk about, including this one, are part of the season two battle pass, so keep that in mind. But anyways, this skin was unlocked at tier one as soon as you purchased the uh, pass itself. And I remember back when I was playing in season two, a lot of people actually had this skin. Obviously it's tier one, um, but I didn't even know that there was a battle pass when I played back then. So uh, I, was, I was quite confused how they got these skins. But now if you run around, you're not really gonna see much of this skin. I mean, I don't know the last time I've ever seen him. In fact, I don't think I've seen him much at all since season two, just because it's not the best looking skin and also it's a tier one reward so people don't really value this skin as much as they should because it's still a really rare skin now at number eight we have the royal knight skin which is the female counterpart to the blue squire and i actually like this skin a lot um it was unlocked at tier 21 and both of these skins came with a back blink. keep that in mind as well it was a shield and i really like the look of it this skin doesn't have much more rarity than the Blue Squire skin just because it was unlocked at tier 21 and most players could reach that level quite easily. At number 7 we have the Sparkle Specialist skin which was unlocked at tier 56 of the Season 2 Battle Pass and it was actually one of my favorite skins for a very long time. However, Epic Games released very similar variations of this skin in the Season 10 Battle Pass which was available to anyone, not only original owners. However, the skin itself is still rare because this was not re-released in the Season 10 Battle Pass. I still prefer the older version of the Sparkle Specialist over the newer ones presented in season X and I think most of the player base could agree with that and that might have been a conscious decision by Epic Games to make sure that original owners wouldn't be too upset about the skin kind of re-releasing. Now at number six we have the final skin from the season two battle pass which is the Black Knight. This was unlocked at tier 70 and also keep in mind that there were only 70 tiers back in season two. It was only in season three where the tiers were then increased to 100. For a long time after the end of the season two battle pass the Black Knight skin was considered to be extremely cool but not because of the skin itself and rather the black bling that came with it because with the release of the season three battle pass back blings just came out and at the time there were not many cool back blings or especially to the level of the black knight back bling which could go with almost any skin back then if you walked around with the black knight back bling people knew that you were a pretty good player because there were not many back blings out there and if you had that one that meant that you hit tier 70 in the season 2 battle pass and you've been playing for quite a while at number five we have a skin with a lot of history the Purple Skull Trooper skin. Back in the Halloween of 2017, the skin was released back when the game was still in season one. But the skin then re-released on the Halloween of 2018, which was a major upset to everybody, especially those who had the skin. At that time, the skin came out with a new variation and also with a female counterpart. Now, I personally think that this purple and black version of the Skull Trooper is the best out of all of the variations, but 
even though I don't own the skin, I was still pretty upset with its comeback because I did like that collecting part of Fortnite and they kind of uh, ruined it. But number four, we have the exact same story with a different skin, the Ghoul Trooper, which was also available alongside the Skull Trooper on the Halloween of 2017, but was then re-released the Halloween after the Skull Troopers re-release, which was 2019, and this also caused a major upset. <laughs> but again, Epic Games gave an exclusive version of the skin to original skin owners, which is a pink and white variation of the skin, which I think looks really cool, but they still ruined the collector's aspect of Fortnite with this. Okay, so getting into the three rarest skins in Fortnite. To those of you who haven't played in season one, season two, season three, I doubt that you've even seen these skins in game. At number three is the Recon Expert skin, which was available for a short period of time, ranging from the initial release of Fortnite Battle Royale to the initial release of the Halloween skins. To those of you who watched live streamers back in season two, you may have seen Tifu use this skin on stream before his account with a lot of skins on it was banned. Out of the 10 rarest skins, this is actually my favorite skin just because it's really simple, but at the same time, it's really rare. And this mix makes it a really low key skin that I really, really like. The next two skins are almost two and a half years old, only available at the initial launch of Fortnite Battle Royale. And it was at a time where there was no battle pass. There was a season pass and you actually had to earn levels in order to buy these skins in the item shop. So the second rarest skin in Fortnite Battle Royale is the Aerial Assault Trooper. In order to even unlock the ability to purchase this skin, you had to reach level 15 in Season 1, and then to purchase it, you had to pay a steep 1200 V-Bucks. You could argue that this is the rarest skin in the game just because not many people purchased it even when they could. This wasn't the max tier reward, and it also required you to get some tiers. So it was kind of not that way or that way, and not many people ended up getting it. Now I bet that 99% of you guys haven't even heard of the last two skins that I listed just because of how rare they are. But this one, since it is the rarest skin of the game, it has gained some attention. However, that doesn't take away from how hard it was to get it. I know a lot of you are gonna recognize this name, unlocked at level 35 of season one and purchasable for 1200 V-Bucks, we have the Renegade Raider skin. Keep in mind, back in season one, there were no challenges, no daily challenges, no weekly challenges, no challenges at all, and overall, it was much harder to earn levels. So anybody that got to level 35 and was willing to spend 1200 V-Bucks was someone who seriously grinded the game when it just came out. So I'm just saying, if you have this skin, you my friend are a legend and you have the rarest skin in the game. Out of the blue, a new checkerboard variation of this skin came out on March 12th of 2019. This sent the player base into a panic thinking that the skin will get re-released. However, confirmed by a popular streamer named Dakotas, he said that he talked to Epic Games sources and they told him that the skin will never release again. This is the only time where Epic Games staff has actually came out and specifically said that a skin will never come out again. Those were the 10 rarest skins in Fortnite Battle Royale, all listed in order from least rare to most rare. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video as much as I did making it. If you have any criticisms, questions, or you just want to talk, comment down below. And uh, also make sure to check the channel every day at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I will be uploading daily. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.